you're watching the ugly inside subscribe below welcome to the instant match reaction for the Hapoel Bishaver nil Southampton nil in the second match day of the Europa League so uh, let me talk you through the starting lineup then uh, is a back five of Fraser Forster in the nets Martina Yashida Van Dyke and targets and that's a back five that I expect and I think most of us expected I think we uh, we're expecting a bit of rotation and, of course, Jose Fonte didn't travel with the squad. So moving on to the midfield, uh, it was a midfield four of Romeu Classy, war Prowse and a European debut for the young lad, Jake Heskiff. Delighted for him to make his European bow and, and making up the rest of the squad. We had Nathan Redmond and Shane Long up top. Well, where to start then in the first half? Four minutes in, war Prowse whips and a delicious ball to unmarked Van Dyke in the six-yard area. But he gets under the header and blazes it over and wide. And really, you know, we should have taken our chances there. But for the rest of the half, it was really much for a nothing, a nothing half. Uh, unfortunately, we saw Jake Heskett go off about 35 minutes in. A bit of a strange one, really. Uh, replacing, uh, replaced by Dusan Tadic. Uh, you know, a bit disappointed and a bit gutted for the lad. Obviously, had a great game against Palace a couple of weeks uh, last week now in the cup. But the way I sort of read into it is the fact that you know, Jake Heskett isn't the the biggest and strongest of sort of midfielders, and um, perhaps Claude brought him on, brought Tadic on to perhaps create a bit more creativity and offer that bit more physical presence in the midfield. You know, Israeli teams and and teams of this sort of caliber are expected to bring the game to us and uh, bully the other other players. So perhaps in that way that Jake Heskett was was taken off for a bit of protection and he couldn't really. It wasn't really up for the sort of physicality and the demands of the of the opposition. The second half, then, not really too many chances as well to talk about. Obviously, it was nil nil in the end. Let's let's face it. But I mean, there was only maybe one or two chances that we could have taken to, to you know to take the lead. Uh, a shot from sort of War Prowse on about 50, 60 minute mark. Uh, the goalkeeper sort of comfortable save on that one, and then Fraser Force wasn't called into action too much as well. So when he was called into action, you know he made. The most of it, and he he, he mopped it up uh, as as clear as he would, as and as comfortably as he would, as you would expect from the man mountain. Surely he's got to be in contention to play and start England's game uh, next week after the, after the weekend after the Leicester game. So you know, obviously Joe Hart's away in Italy, and perhaps the uh, will be vacant England manager it hasn't got one eye on him. So Fraser Force has surely got to be number one uh, next week going into the England game. But so moving on to you know, the rest of the half, again, not not too many chances, bit of a nothing game, bit of a cancel, both teams cancelling each other out. But Martina crossed the ball in really well around 77 minutes, uh, whipped it across the box, but no one was there to put the ball in the back of the net. Uh, you know, Martin has done that so far this season. He's bombed down to the uh, sort of the byline, dr sort of dropped back, pulled it back, and then drilled one across the box. So we just need to, you know, up our game in that aspect. In the fact that we need to get more bodies in the box and uh, willing to put themselves on the line and gamble a bit more. Perhaps Long didn't gamble too much to, uh, you know, put his foot in and uh, you know get on the end of the Martinez cross. No, no, of course, that means it's another clean sheet. That's five in a row now, and it really goes to prove that we have got strength and depth, not only in the midfield strike, but also in the defence as well. Virgil van Dijk led the line, uh, unlucky to score his goal, but, you know, Martina, Yoshida, Tiger all played well, and uh, it's another clean sheet on the board. So finished goalless then, you know, happy with the point. A uh, big shout-out to the guys that went over there. I think it was about 300, 400 Saints over in Israel, uh, but again, happy with a point. We wasn't expecting anything more than a point, and uh, you know, not many English clubs have gone to Israel and taken a point or you know three points away from you know tough places to go like like Hapoel, like Tel Aviv, and, and clubs like that. But you know, we're still top of the league in the group. You know, four points, and strangely, Inter Milan lost once again. That's their fourth defeat in as many games in in Europe. So. Uh, Renosia got sent off, so into Milan were down to 10 men, and he will miss obviously the next game where we all travel to Milan. Eight and a half thousand of us, so they're there for the taking. So it could be, you know, a very much the same episode of sort of West Ham, where in the fact that the club haven't really got much form at the moment and they're there for the taking, and, and we can take advantage uh, going there into Milan uh, next month. Eight and a half thousand of us. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure you guys at home are looking forward to it as well. Top of the table in Group K. Four points on the board, can't complain of that. But let me know in the comments below what you made of the game, of course, and a Leicester City away on Sunday. And let me know your prediction, your early predictions for that one as well. But for now, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more.